Hey Trubies, it's Tuesday and I'm Brad Eats Peeps. Welcome to the Blood Bank. I want to do real bad things with you. So this week's topic is, do you read the books? And if so, do you prefer the books to the show? Yes, I do read the books. I've read them all to this point. A couple of years ago, my friend mentioned them to me because they were different than any of the other vampire series that we had read because they were Southern. And we kind of connected more with that, both of us being Southern. So she gave me the first one to read and I was a crazy person. You don't even know. I was nuts. Really, really crazy about them. I actually got really upset when we found out that Bill had been cheating on Sookie with Lorena in the books, and I really wanted to stop reading, but I kept going because I have to finish what I start, and these books are a good example of that because as the books have gone on, they've gotten really, really shitty. I can't tell you how much I absolutely loathe when series of books go on too long, and this series has gone on too long, but it was enjoyable at first. It really was. Do I prefer the books to the show? No. When the show first started, I did. All the way up through probably the end of season one, beginning of season two, I preferred the books to the show. But then the last couple of books came out, and I realized that the books had lost their appeal, to put it kindly. And I liked some of the elements on the show a lot better than the elements in the book. The changes they've made on the show are really good changes, like Lafayette and just generally Sookie's attitude toward things. So no, I don't enjoy the books more than the show anymore. I can't believe I'm ever going to admit that because I usually prefer the source material to the spinoff, as it were. But in this case, the books have gotten to be where I don't really even want to read them. and I'm only reading them to find out what happens. And the show has gotten better, even though the show is not the best show. I don't know how that works. I actually prefer show Sookie to book Sookie. I really, really love what they've done with her on the show. In the books, she can be kind of annoying and materialistic in a way and kind of superficial. She spends a lot of time talking about her tan and that kind of annoys me. But on the flip side, I prefer book Eric to show Eric. I really can't stand show Eric. I just, it's nothing to do with Alexander Skarsgård. It's nothing to do with that at all. It's not his portrayal. It's the way they've written Eric and what they've done with him. I don't like it. As for Bill, I like Bill on the show and in the books equally. It's kind of weird, I know, but those are the three main characters in the series to this point, I guess, and book series, not show series, and that's how I kind of feel about them. I found it hard to let go of the book characters when the show first started, but I really embrace them now. And of course, like I said, we've got Lafayette, who was flushed out till the beginning of book two, and we've gotten him all the way up to season three now, and I hope they keep him for a long time, because what they've done, one of the few positive things Alan Ball has done was create Lafayette's character and flush it out and let him be on the show. They changed Tara's character quite a bit, but they're getting back into elements of her canon storyline, and I'm kind of liking her a lot more than I was. We'll see. They've given Sam more to do. I never really cared about Sam in the books. I like him on the show. Jason's got a whole different thing. The The books really focus only on Sookie, as they should. I mean, they're told first person, and it's all about her. But the show lets us see other people, and I think that's really the show's strength. Whereas the book focuses on Sookie and all her drama, the show lets us see everyone's drama, and I kind of appreciate that. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to the Blood Bank.